All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, just wanted to do a quick response to uh, this video that, uh, you know, that happened, this, this incident that happened yesterday at this Louis Louisville, uh, I guess, protest dealing with the NFAC, all right? And the head is uh, Grandmaster J, all right? You know, from these past weeks, we've seen videos of him, you know, talking a lot and saying a lot. But us here, you know, hopeful elect of the Lord, all right, teachers of the scriptures, you know, we believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures speak on how, you know, when the Lord says, wait ye upon me till he rise up to the prey. You know, also scriptures say our warfare is not carnal. All right. So we're not carnal men. We're teachers, teachers of the scriptures, teachers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. To the whole four elect. Okay. And um, when I first saw this on the Dabu page yesterday, um, immediately what came to mind was the scripture which I want to read is the Lord said uh, the Most High is not mocked all right and um, I saw other brothers I seen uh, the brother uh, elder brother Yasha Wamba he put up a, a take on it and showed you you know the Amalams taking them taking these uh, I guess men or women who've been shot of the NFAC and it's the Lord, man. You know, I really believe this is, hey, through the Spirit, it's the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it shows you that the Lord is not with this. He's not with NFAC. He's not with this carnality, car this carnalness, all right, of being black. For one, we're not black. We're Hebrew Israelites, all right, from their perspective tribes, 12 tribes of Israel, all right, the 12 families. So I'm going to play a little bit of Dabu's video here because he was there to report, and then I'll read the scripture. This is Dabu 7, a report on Louisville and the NFAC march and everything that has gone down there today. I put out a separate video that I would be covering a live stream of this event exclusively on DLive, and that I did. And in the midst of everything today, there was several people injured, shot after someone's gun had discharged. Now, this took place. So basically somebody's guard, uh, gun was discharged. It went off accidentally. But we understand through the scriptures there's really no accidents. Everything is done according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Scriptures say he belongs to the issue of death. The Most High created the good, he created the evil. Right. The Most High maketh the rich, he maketh the poor. When anything, anything that goes down, if it goes down, it's, it was, it was, um, done by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He allowed it to be done. So you had a gun that discharged, accidentally went off, and shot a few of the members. Now you can't tell me that ain't the Lord, man. Okay? That's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah showing you that he's not with this. He had you shoot yourself. Right here on this lawn, I caught it all on film. I'm going to share the clip with you guys, but first, some of the details of this event. It seemed like it was well organized and peaceful for the most part, but then it drug out and drug out and drug out, and then the discharge happened. So, here in this moment of peace, which was they said it was a peaceful, okay, as Dub Dabu was reporting it, you know, nothing was going down. They wasn't running, chasing, marching. It was peaceful. And the scriptures speak on, um, uh, what's that, Sirach, the fifth chapter, the Lord would get you in your security. You know, matter of fact, let me read that one second. Bear with me. All right, because I know I'm quoting a lot of scripture, so let me just pull this one. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, right? Oh, excuse me, wrong one. Ecclesiasticus, chapter five and one. All right, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, and this is in the Apocrypha, chapter five, verse one. It says, "Set thou heart upon thou goods." And say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength. 
to walk in the ways of thy heart. And you have Israelites today, you know, they walk after their own strength in their own mind. They believe that, you know, it's their, it's, 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 it's their turn to uh, take action. All right. The only action we should be taking is repenting back into Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai and praying for the Lord to take down this devil. You know, matter of fact, for Yahweh Shai to crack those clouds, speed up the time for the Alexei. All right. So it says, follow not thy own mind and thou strength to walk in the ways of thy heart, which is your mind, not the chest muscle or, you know, yeah, the muscle that pumps blood. Verse three, and say not who shall control me for my works. For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Just because you organize something, you know, uh, in the ways in which Esau will allow, you know, if it's not done spiritually, or let's say, or under the umbrella with, with the Lord's name on top of it, then it then it's not it's not gonna work. Esau, the black militant groups come and go. All right, you had Malcolm X, you know, he had a sting, okay? with the Islamic movement, and that passed. Scriptures say the Lord, uh, he saveth the apostles last. He said, thou eyes shall see thou teach him. All right, so if it's not of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, it is not gonna work. It says, and say not who shall control me for my works, for the Lord will surely revenge thou pride. Say not I have sinned and what harm hath happened unto me. For the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. So. The Lord is not going to let you go, all right, when you have in pride, man. So say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me. You have to repent from sins, okay? For the Lord is long-suffering. He will in no wise let thee go, meaning he won't let you go unpunished. You will be punished. It says, verse 5, concerning propetition, be not without fear to add sin unto sin, and say not, for his mercy is great, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. All right, and a lot of church, church goers, grape juice drinkers, you know, a lot of them think that the Lord is pacified for their sins and that his mercy is that great so that they could get away with iniquities. No, it says, and say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitudes of my sins. For mercy and wrath coming from him and indignation resteth upon sinners. All right, make no turn to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Now here's the point. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So this right here is a light judgment and it shows you the spirit of the Lord because here as Dabu reporting it, everything was peace. They was chilling, you know, they was squatting, you know, chilling, kneeling hanging and out of nowhere a gun discharged and shot i think three or four of them so let's continue with the report they rushed three people out of there on stretchers and then there was a fourth one that was taken out of there i'm not sure why but then they formed in the street and the march carried on without any other incidents really all the way down to the end point so in this I'd witnessed at least two ladies and a male. It looked like two wounds to the leg for the ladies and the guy had his hand wrapped. And with one shot going off, we kind of boiled it down to, it seemed like it was a shotgun blast and everything ricocheted off of the concrete. The cops then came in and cordoned this whole thing off. No one was allowed in there and they held their formation in the grass and then in the street. But I'm gonna share this clip and show you guys a little bit of, of what unraveled here. And I will run it from here and you will hear the gunshot just a couple seconds after I start this. Right there. Portland's been, Portland's been pretty wild. Yeah, this is back when a year ago. Oh, what the hell was that? Was that a backfire? Is that a single shot or was that a backfire? Sounded like a single shot. Sounded like a single shot. Medic? You all for a medic 
everybody's in the move. It sounded like a, sing it was a single gunshot. Yeah. That's why they're moving like that. Hey, well, there you have it, man. All right. You know, let me read the scripture. And uh, just to show you that the Lord not dealing with that, man. The, door, the Lord is dealing with the prophets, man. Okay? And he's dealing with his word. That's all he's dealing with, his truth. Okay? Which is word, which is endure, which will, in, it says, endure forever. All right? Uh, let me go back to uh, Galatians chapter 6 and 7. And uh, call it a wrap. This is Galatians chapter 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So when you sow up unto carnal, carnalness, all right, you're going to reap carnalness. If you sow unto the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you're going to reap salvation from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right, the Lord is only dealing with His elect. You know, if this should be a, a warning sign to you Israelite camps out there that agree. All right, all that is in a, you know, that, that agreement and what this man is doing. All right, let him do what he do. But being of a Hebrew Israelite, all right, we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're waiting upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to rise up to the prey. Like I said, the scriptures say we are not carnal. And, uh, uh, and it's the Lord's words of pulling down the strongholds. What are the strongholds? Are the false philosophies, the Christianity, okay? You know, all of the uh, spiritual holds that, that stumbles, you know, Israel. Well, let's say the Israelites, yeah, the Israelites unto following Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. But we understand that the Lord has an election and the elect is going to get it. All right. But the rest were blinded. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.